guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do an acrylic pour on a base. And the most commonly asked question is how I prep. So first of all, all I do to the glass is I clean it with alcohol. And that's just to get any dust or fingerprints off. And, and I am doing this over a canvas because um, I, then I can use the runoff paint and do a really cool matching painting. So I've cleaned this, and this is how I do it on the canvas. I just set it on a cup, and then I'm gonna pour down the vase. It's gonna go onto the canvas. So for right now, I'm gonna move this off, and I'm gonna fill up the cup with paint. And I commonly get asked how much paint to do the vase. Well, I measure it just based off of the canvas. This is a 12 by 12 canvas, so I'm gonna need Pretty much this whole cup of paint. This is a nine ounce cup. And I'm using one of my favorite color combinations, which is just white, blue, yellow, and then a little bit of black. And I'm just going to layer these in here. All of these are Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, and they're mixed with Floetrol and water. Another commonly asked question is, do I change the consistency of my paints? Uh, based off of the project that I'm doing and the answer to that is no. I keep the same consistency pretty much no matter what. Alright. So that should be good. We're going to go ahead and move that aside. I'm going to put this on here and then we're going to pour. Now when doing a vase you can do it as a clean pour as well. So that would be pouring the colors individually on the vase. Um, I love this method though, and it's, it's much easier to get your whole vase covered. Plus it creates a super cool pattern on the canvas itself. All right. So what we do at this stage is we just let it drip and drip down usually for about five minutes or so. Um, once it stops like really dripping, I pick it up by the cup and I move it aside. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up and we're just gonna let it drip. Okay, so that was less than five minutes, but it's mostly slowed down, so I think we're fine. And so I'm going to just gently pick it up by the cup and move this aside. Do not worry if you accidentally touch the lip of your vase or anything because it's going to keep moving. So even if you were to accidentally totally mess it up as you moved it, it would be totally fine. <laughs> All right, now we do the canvas. And this is going to create just some awesome matching home decor. Uh, and doing it this method gives you usually kind of a peacock looking painting. Of course, depending on what colors you use, but I'm talking just in terms of design. And I'm definitely using the <laughs> kind of like peacock colors, so. There we go. So we now have an awesome matching set here. And if you wanna take it even further, you can take some of the runoff and you can make um, magnets, like you can dip magnets in there. Like, let's go ahead. I have these little wood pieces that I got from Michael's for like $2 for a whole bag and you can just dip it in the runoff painting however you want and then let that dry glue a magnet on the back and boom you have even some matching <laughs> magnets for your fridge um and you can also of course let the let that dry and make that into jewelry as well which i have several videos on that if you want to check out 
So for now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a close up. All right, we'll go ahead and start with the painting. Super cool. And like I said, this is one of my favorite color schemes um, because it gets you just all kinds of stuff. If you like greens, it gets you greens, teals, turquoises. Like, look at this. Isn't that so cool? There you go. And then here is our vase, which of course it's round, so it's hard to show you the whole thing. But here's the top, and what I'm going to do is just gently rotate. This takes some skill. <laughs> Yep, so there we go. Super pretty. All right, guys, so uh, stay tuned. In a couple days, we'll come back. I will show you them all dry, and then um, I will also show you how I seal that vase. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.